Hello students. So in the previous class, we started exercise 4.1. We will continue with the next part. That is question number two. As I told you, in all these, you have to be proving. So the statement we will take here is 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q like that up to n q is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. For n equal to 1, when we take p of 1, we will take left hand side n is 1. So only one term that is 1 cube. So 1. Right hand side when I put n equal to 1 I will get 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 whole square. That is 2 by 2 whole square. That is 1. Because left hand side and right hand side both we got 1. I can say p of one is true. Now assume for n equal to k, p of k is true. That means left hand side 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q up to k q equal to right hand side k into k plus 1 by 2 whole square. Now for n equal to k plus 1, p of k plus 1 we will be finding but we will find only left hand side as 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q up to k q and after that we have k plus 1 whole q because n is k plus 1. Now from 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube up to k cube, you can use p of k and you can write k into k plus 1 by 2 whole square plus k plus 1 whole cube. Now I can take k plus 1 whole square common. So left is k square by 4 plus k plus 1 or I can write k plus 1 whole square into I can take common denominator 4 so that I will have k square plus 4k plus 1 by 4. k square plus 4k plus 4 here 4 by 4. So I can write this as k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 whole square by 4 or k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2 whole square. But on right hand side when I put n as k plus 1 I will have k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 by 2 whole square. That is k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2 whole square. Because left hand side is equal to right hand side, I can say p of k plus 1 is also true. So, by principle of finite mathematical induction, P of N statement is true for all N belonging to set of natural numbers. Let's go to question number 3. In question number 3, the statement P of N is given as 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on. 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. That is equal to 
to n by n plus 1. So, first we will put n equal to 1. That means when we take p of 1, left hand side will be just the first term 1. Because n is 1. Only one term will be there. Right hand side when you put n as 1, 2 by 1 plus 1, that is 2 by 2 or 1. Because left hand side is equal to right hand side, we can say P of 1 is true. Now we will assume that for n equal to k, P of k is true. That means left side 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on. 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus k it will be equal to the right side 2k by k plus 1. Now, for n equal to k plus 1, we will take p of k plus 1, but we will take left hand side. That is 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on. First we will have 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k. The next term we will have 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k plus 1. But all these together we can use from p of k and write it as k 2k by k plus 1. And here 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k plus 1. We can use the formula. To use this formula also we have to prove. We have another statement p of n. 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n is n into n plus 1 by 2. This already we have proved by principle of mathematical induction. But I will show you again so that I can use it in our question. For n equal to 1 when I take p of 1, left hand side I will have only this first term. Right hand side I will put n as 1. So I will have 2 by 2 which is. Because left hand side is equal to right hand side. I can say p of 1 is true. Now assume that for n equal to k. P of k is true. That means left side 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to k equal to k into k plus 1 by 2. Left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now for n equal to k plus 1, we will take p of k plus 1 only left side. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on first up to k. The next term will be k plus 1. Now to use all these, I am using p of k and I am writing it as k into k plus 1 by 2. And then I have this k plus 1. If I take k plus 1 common, I will have k by 2 plus 1. Because I am taking this k by 2, k plus 1 common. Then I will have k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2. But on the right hand side, if I put n as k plus 1, I have k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 by 2. That is k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2. You can see left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, P of K plus 1 is true. That means, by, I am writing here, by principle of finite mathematical induction, 
P of n is true. I have proved this P of n equal to true because if I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n, I can write it n into n plus 1 by 2. So in my question, if I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to k plus 1, I can write k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 by 2. This is the question's left hand side we were doing. I will continue with this. I will continue here. 2k by k plus 1 plus 1 by k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2. Or 2k by k plus 1 plus 2 by k plus 1 into k plus 2. I will take the LCM k plus 1 into k plus 2 common denominator. That means I will have 2k into k plus 2 plus 2. That is 2k square plus 4k plus 2 by k plus 1 into k plus 2. Now this 2k square plus 4k plus 2, I can factorize it. I can write it as k plus 1 into 2k plus 2 by k plus 1 into k plus 2. k plus 1 cancels. Take 2 common k plus 1 by k plus 2 I have. Similarly, I will take right hand side and I will put n as k plus 1. 2 into k plus 1 by k plus 1 plus 1. That is 2 into k plus 1 by k plus 2. So I can see left hand side equal to right hand side. So I can say p of k plus 1 is true. And so by principle of finite mathematical induction, p of n statement is true for all n belonging to set of natural numbers. Let's go to next question. In this exercise total we have 24 questions. But only one exercise. Okay. We will go to question 4. P of n statement we will take as 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4. So on n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 by 4. For n equal to 1, we will take p of n, p of 1, but left hand side only the first term 1 into 2 into 3, we have 6. Right hand side I will put n as 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 by 4. Or 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 by 4. These two will cancel 6. You can see both left side and right side you got 6 as the answer. So I can say P of 1 is Now, for n equal to k, assume that p of k is true. That means left hand side 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 so on. Put n as k, k plus 1, k plus 2. Equal to right hand side put n equal to k k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 by 4. 
Now we will take 4 n equal to k plus 1, p of k plus 1, but we will take only left hand side. 1 into 2 into 3, 2 into 3 into 4. So on we have first k into k plus 1 into k plus 2. After that, the next term will be k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. But the first few terms you can take from p of k as k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 by 4. And then we have the last term k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. We can take common. We can take k plus 1 common. We can take k plus 2 common. We can take k plus 3 common. Left is k by 4 plus 1. Or I can write k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3 into k plus 4 by 4. But at the same time, we have to see right hand side. Put n as k plus 1. I'll have k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 2 into k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. That is, I get k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 into k plus 4 by 4. So, because left side is same as right side answer, I can say p of k plus 1 is true. Once it is true, that implies that p of n is also true for all n belonging to set of natural numbers. Slowly, if you practice problems, you will understand more better and better. Question number five. The statement P of n is 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube so on plus n into 3 power n equal to 2n minus 1 into 3 power n plus 1 plus 3 by 4. Now first for n equal to 1 we will take p of 1. But we will take left hand side the first term 1 into 3 that is 3. Now for RHS n as 1 2 into 1 minus 1 3 power 1 plus 1 plus 3 by 4. So 2 minus 1 will be 1 3 square 9 1 into 9, 9 plus 3 by 4. 12 by 4, that is 3. So what can you see here? Both left side and right side, you got the same answer, 3. That means I can say left side is equal to right hand side. That means I can say P of N is true. For all n belonging to set of natural numbers. We can't say this directly. Because this will be the last statement. We have proved only n equal to 1. So next what is the step? For n equal to k. Assume p of k is true. That means left side. 1 into 2, 1 into 3, plus 2 into 3 square, plus 3 into 3 cube, put n as k, k into 3 power k, equal to right side. Right side we have 2k minus 1, into 3 power k plus 1, 
plus 3, 5. Now finally for n equal to k plus 1, we will take p of k plus 1, but we will take only left side 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube. First we will have k into 3 power k, but after that we will have k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1. Now these first few terms you can see p of k and you can use that. That is 2k minus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 plus 3 by 4 plus k plus 1 into 3 power k plus 1. Now You have to simplify this further. You have to take common denominator 4. So when you take common denominator 4, what will you have? 2k minus 1 into 3 power k plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 into k plus 1, 3 power k plus 1. I can take common 3 power k plus 1 I can take common and then nothing else. Isn't it? Nothing is left. So I have 2k minus 1 plus 4k plus 4. This is what I have. And then outside I will write 3 by 4. So 3 power k plus 1, I will simplify it further. I will have 6k plus 3 plus 3 by 4. Or I will have to take 3 also common. 3 into 2k plus 1 plus 1 because I am taking okay this I will write separately in two steps I will write so I will have 3 power k plus 1 then I am taking 3 common so 2k plus 1 plus 3 by 4 now from both I will take 3 common so what I will have 3 power k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 plus 1 by 4. This is what I have. Which I can further simplify as 3 power k plus 1 plus 1 into 2k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. Now when I take RHS and put N as K plus 1, I will have, I am putting N as K plus 1, 2 into K plus 1 minus 1, 3 power K plus 1 plus 1, plus 3 by 4. That means I will have 3 power K plus 1 plus 1 into 2K plus 2 minus 1 plus 3 by 4 or 3 power k plus 1 plus 1 into 2k plus 1 plus 3 by 4. So then looking at left hand side and right hand side answer and now I can say left hand side equal to right hand side. So p of k plus 1 is true and so by Principle of mathematical induction. I can say PN statement is true for all N belonging to it. If you practice, you can do more faster. Let us take question number six. The statement P of N is given as 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 so on n into n plus 1 equal to 
n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 3. First, for n equal to 1, we will take p of 1, but we will take left hand side the first term that is 2. Now, right hand side also I will put n as 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 by 3. So, 3 and 3 cancels. The answer is 2. You can see left side answer and right side answer both equal to 2. Now, I can say just P of 1 is true. For N equal to K, assume P of K is true. That means left hand side 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 N is K into K plus 1. That will be equal to right side. N is K. K into K plus 1 into K plus 3 by 3. Next step we will take for N equal to K plus 1. We will take P of K plus 1 but only left hand side. That is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4. Like that we have K into K plus 1 into the next term plus I will take is K, I will put N as K plus 1. K plus 1 into K plus 2. This is what I have. But the first few terms I can take P of K and write it as K into K plus 1 into K plus 3 by 3. Is it 3? It is 2, not 3. So K into K plus 1 into K plus 2 by 3 plus K plus 1 into K plus 2. I can write. To simplify further, I can take K plus 1 into k plus 2 com. So left is k by 3 plus 1. Or I can write k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 by 3. But if you take RHS right hand side put n as k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 into K plus 1 plus 2 by 3. That is I will have K plus 1 into K plus 2 into K plus 3 by 3. So again I got left hand side equal to right hand side. So P of K plus 1 is true. By principle of finite mathematical induction P of n statement is true for all n belonging to set of natural numbers. Let's go to question number 7. In question number 7, the P of n statement is 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7, so on, plus 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1, equal to n into 4n square plus 6n minus 1 by 3. So first for n equal to 1, we will take p of 1's left hand side, that is the first term and that is 3. On right hand side also, I will put n equal to 1. 1 into 4 plus 6 minus 1 by 3. 10 minus 1. 9 by 3. Or it is 3.
because left side and right side both the answers are threes we can say p of 1 is true now assume for n equal to k p of k is true so left side 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 so on 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 but in place of n we will put k 2k minus 1 2k plus 1 will be equal to right hand side answer k is k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 by 3. This is just assumption. Now we will start proving for n equal to k plus 1. That means we will take p of k plus 1. Only left hand side. 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 and so on. The first we will write 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1. Then we will put k plus 1. 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 into 2 into k plus 1 plus 1. The first few terms... I can take the help of P of K and write it as K into 4K square plus 6K minus 1 by 3. Apart from this extra, you will have 2K plus 2 minus 1, 1. And 2K minus 2. So when you expand... You will have 2k plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 you will have. Now we can take common denominator 3 for both. Then you will have k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3. Or k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 plus 4k square plus 6k plus 2k plus 3 by 3. Or 4k cube plus 6k square minus k plus 4k plus 8k plus 3. And then by 3. Or I can write this as 4k cube plus 6k square minus 11k plus 3 by 3. But this answer I will keep. I will take RHS. In RHS, when I put N as K plus 1, what I will have? K plus 1 into 4 into K plus 1 whole square plus 6 into K plus 1 minus 1 by 3. That means I will have K plus 1 into 4 into K square plus 2 K plus 1 plus 6 K plus 6. Minus 1. And then by 3. So this will be k plus 1 into 4k square plus 8k plus 4 plus 6k plus 5. By 3. Or k plus 1 into 4k square 
प्लस फोर्टीन के प्लस नाइन बाई थ्री स्टिल एकेन मल्टीप्लाई फोर के क्यू प्लस फोर्टीन के स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन के प्लस फोर के स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टीन के प्लस नाइन बाई This is what I have, or four k q. I am getting left answer and right answer different. That means we have to do this sum again. Lot of calculation. Let me check where we went wrong. Two k minus one, two k plus one. Four k square plus six k minus one. Six k minus one by three. Two k plus one, two k. Yeah, until here it is correct. While changing the board i think there we went wrong okay i will write this last statement again so that we won't make mistake k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 by 3 plus 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 here i will do it again k into 4k square plus 6k minus 1 by 3 plus 4k square 6k plus 2k is 8k plus 3 so on taking lcm common denominator 4k cube plus 6k square minus k plus 12k square plus 24k plus 9 by 3 so 4k cube 6 plus 12 will be 18k square 24 minus 1 That is twenty three k plus nine. I'm um, telling something and writing four k q, then eighteen k square, twenty four k minus k is twenty three k plus nine by three. R H S I will do down because lot of calculation. N I will put as k plus one. Four into k plus one whole square, six into k plus one minus one by three. We will do step by step. So k plus one, four into k square plus two k plus one plus six k plus six minus one by three, or k plus one into four k square. Plus eight k plus four plus six k plus five by three. While writing in the next page, I have to be careful. Only while switching the pages, we are going wrong. So four k square plus fourteen k plus nine. Four k square plus fourteen k plus nine. Yeah, by three. So I will multiply four k q plus fourteen k square plus nine k plus four k square plus fourteen k plus nine by three. Next four k q I have. Then I have eighteen k square. Then twenty three k. Then nine by two. Now we will see. LHS answer right RHS answer both are same LHS equal to RHS therefore p of k plus one is true therefore p of n is true for all n belonging to set of natural numbers 
So step by step, clearly taking enough space if we do, we will get the correct answer. Question number nine or eight. Question number eight. P of n statement is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 square. Question is wrong. It should be 3 into 2 cube. 2 into 2 square, 3 into 2 cube and so on at the end n into 2 power n will be n minus 1 into 2 power n plus 1 plus 2. So for n equal to 1, I can take p of 1, left hand side only the first term 1 into 2, 2. But right side, I have to put n as 1 minus 1, 2 power 1 plus 1, 2. So because this is 0, this entire term will become 0. But here you have 2. Right hand side answer is 2. Left side answer, right side answer, both are 2. That means you can say P of 1 is Now, assume that for n equal to k, p of k is true. That means left side 1 into 2 plus 2 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 cube. We will put n as k into 2 power k. Then right side, we have k minus 1 into 2 power n plus 1. Plus 2. But in place of n, you have to put k because n equal to k. Next, we will start for n equal to k plus 1. We will take p of k plus 1 but only left side. That is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 cube. 3 into 2 cube. First we will have k into 2 power k. After that we will have k plus 1 into 2 power k plus 1. Because n is k plus 1. And right side we have k plus 1 minus 1. 2 power k plus 1 plus 1. And then 2. This is what I have. But the first few terms from P of K can be written as K minus 1, 2 power K plus 1, plus 2. Right hand side we will take afterwards. I will take, I will remove right hand side. Otherwise we will not have place. We will go wrong in calculations. Okay. And then we have the last term. That is k plus 1 into 2 power k plus 1. This is what we have. Now I have to take Common. Common I will take 2 power k plus 1. Then I have k minus 1 plus k plus 1 and 1, 2 which is left off I will take it outside. Minus 1 and plus 1 cancels. 2 power k plus 1. And then 2 power k plus 1 into k plus k is 2k plus 2. Isn't it? So what I will have 2 power k plus 2. k plus 1 plus 1 will be k plus 2 into k plus 2. 
this is what we have now i will take rhs separately where i will put ns k plus 1 minus 1 2 power k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 so that means i have k into 2 power k plus 2 plus 2 since left side is equal to right side i can say p of k plus 1 is true that means p of when is true for all n belonging to set of natural numbers. So with this we have completed question number 8. We can go to question number 9 now. In question number 9, P of N statement is I will take 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 um, to 1 by 2 power N equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 power N. For N equal to 1, I will take P of 1. First, left hand side will be only the first. Right hand side, I will put n as 1, 2 power 1. So, this is also equal to half. That means left hand side is equal to right hand side and p of 1 is 2. Now, assume that for n equal to k, P of K is true. That means in P of K, left side 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 2 power K is 1 minus 1 by 2 power K. Next, we will prove for N equal to K plus 1 by taking P of K plus 1 but only left side. I'll have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4, plus 1 by 8. I will have 1 by 2 power k, but the next term will be 1 by 2 power k plus 1. So that all these terms which I have in P of k, I can write as 1 minus 1 by 2 power k, plus 1 by 2 power k plus 1. Until here I have. which I have to simplify. I will be simplifying further. In the next step, I have to see the previous one so that we won't make mistake. I will write 1 and I will take minus 1 by 2 power k cot. So I will have 1 minus 1 by 2. That means 1 minus 1 by 2 power k into 1 by 2. That means 1 minus 1 by 2 power k plus 1. But if I see right hand side, I will put n as k plus 1. 1 minus 1 by 2 power k plus 1. It is straightforward. Both are equal. Left hand side equal to right hand side. That means p of k plus 1 is true. So p of n will be true for all natural numbers. This is what we can prove. Quickly, without wasting time, we will go to the next question because we have a lot of questions. Question number 10. P of N statement is given as 1 by 2 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 8 plus 1 by 8 into 11, so on, plus 1 by 3n minus 1 into 3n plus 2, equal to n by 6n plus 2. For n equal to 1, I will take p of 1, 
left hand side i will be taking only the first term 1 by 2 into 5 that is 1 by 10 right hand side when i put n as 1 by 6 plus 4 the answer is same 1 by 10 because left answer is equal to right answer i can say p of 1 is true now assume that p of k is true For n equal to k, that means left side one by two into five plus one by five into eight plus one by eight into eleven, and so on. In the last, I will put n s k three k minus one into three k plus two will be k by six k plus four. This will be equal. I have a show. Now, for n equal to k plus one, I will take p of k plus one, but I will take only left hand side. That is one by two into five plus one by five into eight plus one by eight into eleven. And uh, first, I will have one by three k minus one into three k plus two. In the next term, I will put k plus one for it. Three into k plus one minus one, and three into k plus one plus two. This is what I have. So the first few terms from p of k I can take as k by six k plus four, but the last term will be one by three k. Plus three minus one is plus two. Next three k plus three plus two is plus five. Now I will take common denominator carefully on the next page. I will take k by six k plus four three. I will take common or two. I will take common. So that I will have three k plus two, and then I have one by three k plus two into three k plus five. I will take one by three k plus two common. So left is k by two plus one by three k plus five. Keeping one by three k plus two outside and taking common denominator two into three k plus five, I will have three k square plus five k plus two. That is one by three k plus two into. I can factorize this k plus one into three k. Plus two by two into three k plus one. Three k plus two cancels, and I'm left with k plus one by two into three k plus one. Or I have k plus one by six k plus ten. I will see right hand side putting n as k plus one. K plus one. By six into k plus one plus four. That is, I have k plus one by six k plus ten. Both right hand side and left hand side, I got I got the same answer. So I can say p of k plus one is two. And then I can say by principle of finite mathematical induction, p of n is also true. For all n belonging to set of natural numbers, so easy. Only thing is, you must be very careful with calculation part. We will go to the next question.
the next question also we will have same kind of statement p of n which we have to prove that it is true by mathematical induction So let me go to the next page. It is not allowing me to go to the next page. My board got stuck up. Eleventh question. Yes, now it's moving. In eleventh question, the statement p of n can be taken as one by one into two into three plus one by two into three into four plus one by three into four into five plus one by n into n plus one into n plus two, which is equal to n into n plus three by four into n plus 1 into n plus 2 so first we have to take n equal to 1 in n equal to 1 for n equal to 1 p of 1 We will take LHS, the first term one in one by one into two into three, that is one by six. We got one by six. In RHS also we will put NS one, one into one plus three by four into one plus one into one plus two, that is we will have four by four into two into three, four cancels. We got one by six because we got LHS equal to RHS. I can say P of one is true. But the next step I have to take assume for n equal to k, P of k also will be true. That means left hand side we will take one by one into two into three. Plus one by two into three into four, plus one by three into four into five, till the last one in place of n we will put k, k into k plus one into k plus two, equal to RHS we will take k into k plus three by four into k plus one into k plus two. Now we will take for n equal to k plus one, p of k plus one, but we will take only left side. That is one by one into two into three, one by two into three into four, one by three into four into five plus so on. First we will take k only, not k plus one. Next term will be k plus one, k plus one. Into k plus one plus one n as k plus one plus two. For the first few terms, we can take the help of p of k and write it as k into k plus three by four into k plus one into k plus two. And after that, one more term is there: one by k plus one into k plus two. Into k plus three. To simplify this, I can take one by k plus one into k plus two common. So I have k into k plus three by four plus one by k plus three. Keeping one by k plus one into k plus two out, when I take common denominator four into k plus three, I have K into K plus three into K plus three plus four, which I will simplify. 
So I have 1 by k plus 1 into k plus 2. And on simplifying the other part, I will have k into k plus 3 whole square plus 4 by 4 into k plus 3. So in denominator, I will have 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. Numerator, I will have k into k square plus 6k plus 9 plus 4. Which I can write it as k cube plus 6k square plus 9k plus 4 by 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. This is the answer I got for left hand side. Right hand side separately I will take down so that there will be no calculation mistakes. Right hand side I will put n as k plus 1. Again n as k plus 1 plus 3. Denominator 4 into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 2. So that means I have k plus 1 into k plus 4 by 4 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. So if you see or if you compare left hand side and right hand side, numerator I must have k plus 1 factor. So that when I have, when I take k plus 1 outside, I can cancel k plus 1 and k plus 1. Right? And then I will be here, right hand side I will be left with k square. 4k plus k is 5k plus 4 by 4 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. So how will I factorize this on left hand side? I can go for synthetic division. Synthetic division means k cubes coefficient 1, k squares coefficient 6, k coefficient 9, and 4. I have to divide with minus 1 because I have to take k plus 1 as the factor. First I will write 1 as it is. Minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1. So when I add I will have 5. Minus 1 into 5 will be minus 5. When I add I will have 4. Minus 1 into 4 will be minus 4. 0 is the remainder. That means exactly it is divisible. That means it will have the factor. 4 is the constant. Positive 4. Positive 5k. Then positive 1k squared. So this I can write as the other factor here where I left. k plus 1 into k square plus 5k plus 4. So this idea I got it from right hand side. How to simplify the left hand side and get it in this form. Now you see left hand side answer, right hand side answer are same. You can write Left hand side answer, same as right hand side answer. So, P of K plus 1 is true. That means by principle of finite mathematical induction, P of N is true for all natural numbers. The remaining questions, some more are remaining. We have done only up to question number 11. From question number 12 onwards, we will complete it in the next class. See you in the next class. I'll end this session.